Hello, I'm Rod Westmass here at Piccadilly Circus and on Windrush Day I'm going to be telling a couple of stories about my family. I'd like to tell the story about Rainbow Corner here at Piccadilly Circus. This was a building that at, at was frequented by US soldiers during the Second World War. But let me preface, it was frequented by white US soldiers. And it was, it was uh, a way for them to feel at home. But the black enlisted soldiers were not accepted there. So what started happening were black clubs emerging throughout the Soho area. We're standing here in Piccadilly Circus and once again I want to tell another family story. Richard Owen Westmass, otherwise known as Rory. He, in 1961, along with two of his fellow students from the Brixton School of Building, they were enticed to put forward an entry to redesign Piccadilly Circus. This, this redesign was a blind entry that they put forward. They were the fifth year students, by the way. And um, yeah, there they were, they were entries from all over the country, but nobody knew who they were. Well, they won, and the, the periodical of the day said, three non-whites win competition, because Rory was from Guyana, and then the, uh, the other was from Ghana, and the other was from Malaysia. So they stood out, they stood out, but they won, they shared their 500 quid and were very happy. Towards the end of the Second World War, I had a, a, another uncle, Dennis Aubrey Westmus. He was, de what was it, serving in the army. He was demobbed, wanted to earn a few pounds to go back to Guyana. And he took a job right here in what was then called J. Lyons Tiro. Uncle Dennis told me this story, and it's a sort of a family um, legend. A little old lady comes up to him and says, where are you from? And he says, I'm from British Guyana. Oh, British Guyana, I heard that they eat mice there. And he said, well, now it was very noisy at the time, he's saying, and he thought, she said rice and said, well, yes we do, but not like the British with a little bit of milk and sugar. We put salt on ours. And she ran away in, in disgust and never had anything to do with my uncle after that. <laughs>